Hello and welcome from the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Jared Banks, editor at large of IPO Edge. Joining me today is a return guest, Sherry Major, a partner at KPMG. Sherry, welcome back to the program. Thank you very much for having me again. Great, so let's get right into it. We're back from the summer break. September, we usually see a lot of IPO activity, but we're not quite seeing so much. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely not seeing the sort of back to school return that we typically see in September. And, you know, a lot of that just has to do with volatility that we saw this summer. So maybe for a little bit of context, um, we've had a really good year from um, so far year to date with $32 billion of proceeds raised, which is more than last year, um, definitely a much stronger pace. And um, although, you know, for context, if you think about the, the high of 2021, about 240 billion was raised. So certainly nowhere near that. And I don't think we should expect to see that again anytime soon, but definitely good momentum so far this year leading into the summer. Um, but certainly, you know, I think what we saw is in the first half of year, companies were taking advantage of you know, lower volatility and stronger valuations to get IPOs done, and things have changed a little bit since then. Okay, what, what exactly changed over the summer? I'm guessing it was the stock market volatility that we saw in August? Yeah, absolutely. So typically we like to say that you know, volatility of 20 or less is going to be good for the IPO market. And we saw 40 in August. So hmm. it is back down to you know, more um, favorable levels, but certainly that high in August definitely caused a slowdown in the IPO markets. Um, certainly there's other things too. I mean, just general slowing of the US economy has had an impact. And I think we're gonna see a bit of a soft landing there from you know, a slowdown in the economy. And I think the other thing that's important too is the aftermarket performance. Um, so there are some IPOs that you know did very well. So for example, Reddit, which is up you know 65% from their IPO price, but there are others that you know certainly have not delivered on the performance that you know investors are expecting and other companies are watching for. So I think those are a few of the factors that have really um, tempered what we saw so far this summer. Makes sense. So so not as many IPOs this fall as we may have expected before the summer. Correct. Yeah, I think, you know, some of that market volatility is probably going to continue. There's still a lot of watching to see what happens with interest rates. So our KPMG economists are predicting four quarter point cuts uh, between now and the end of the year. So certainly companies will be watching for that. And if those do materialize, that certainly helps with IPO valuations. But let's not forget, we have the election coming up in November. and. Election years don't tend to have a very significant impact on the IPO market, but certainly when we look at the data, that week of the election is going to be pretty quiet. Um, and then, you know, we're heading into holiday seasons with Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I do expect we'll still see some IPOs, but really um, at this point now we're predicting that it's going to be more so um, seeing the momentum hit us in, in 2025, which is also consistent with a lot of the companies that we're working with and you know what they're saying and, and watching. Right. We, we here at IPO Edge have been hearing that the IPO pipeline is actually quite strong. Yeah, definitely. Um, we certainly keep an eye on that and the, the pipeline of companies that have that are on file um, so far this year but still haven't priced or withdrawn is actually much higher than the total number of IPOs last year. So I take that as a really good sign. And if you think about, you know, I get the question a lot, you know, what industries are we expecting to see, you know, stronger returns? Um, I will say because the pipeline is so full and robust, we do see all industries well represented. So I do think we're going to see some good variety over the you know coming say year or so but um, the ones that are typically strong life sciences tech that is still what we're seeing in the pipeline so I do expect that to continue but also um, consumer and retail and diversified industrials are also showing some pretty strong pipeline as well so I think we should keep an eye on those maybe on the flip side interesting to see is that aerospace and defense and oil and gas are actually low from a pipeline perspective and oil and gas I think we can sort of understand that but there's been a lot of interest in aerospace and events so maybe we'll see that turn over the coming you know months and quarters okay so we still expect some IPOs this fall but 2025 could potentially be gangbusters 
that's what we're hoping for and that's what we're looking to as well <laughs> so you and me watching and seeing right <laughs> all right we'll leave it there my thanks to sherry major a partner at kpmg i'm jared banks signing off from the new york stock exchange